Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, Zeke here again today to bring you another episode of Indie Crunch. And today we're looking at Frog Fractions, the game that is the revolutionarily, absolutely the best way to teach your child about fractions. And believe me, this game is almost the best thing that exists. Now, I know you're watching this and being like, what the fuck the, what the hell is this guy talking about? He does not know his shit. This guy is not your good game reviewer. He is playing a game where you seriously just capture flies with your tongue. And yes, that is basically it. And I say basically in the best way possible. So I'm going to get lock on targeting here. It costs two fruits. And I got two fruits by doing that. So let's um, get lock on targeting. So this means I'll be a bit more accurate and my targeting will be a bit easier. So you, your tongue's actually like an AoE attack, so if you attack past things, you'll actually get several of them at once. And I want to warn you right now, do not... I hate doing this to myself, but do not watch this video. Go to the link below, pause, play this fucking game. Seriously, this will ruin things for you. I'm not even going to take this video too far, I'm going to wait. Um, ideally, I think I want to get the turtle next, which is five fruits, I need one more fruit. And the turtle will let me actually swim side to side and gather the fruit that is falling. And we only get the fruit when it's ripe. And apparently we just really want this fruit even though we're frogs, I don't know. You might notice that, of course, all the, um, all the points that we get are in fractions. And our total score up there is constantly moving in terms of fractions. So that is how it teaches us fractions. And as you can see, it is a great way of learning fractions. Pretty much the best way you can possibly imagine to learn fractions, actually. So at the end of every level, you get all three of the apples that are currently available. So you have at least a very a bare minimum score, and you just want to make sure that the bugs do not get the fruit. It generally takes them quite a while. As you can see, I got some indignity there, unfortunately. So turtle is next. Now, as you can see, I can use Wacid to move around and get all the turtles. And um, next thing I think I want is actually the magnetic tongue, because the magnetic tongue actually makes some um, butterflies and other bugs static together so that you can get lots of them at a time. Oh, I clicked off screen there for a second. I hope that didn't screw things up too much. Um, this is a free to play game, by the way. So this is just available on the interwebs. Um, I'm about to get a bunch of indignity, unfortunately. Let's make sure I don't do that. I haven't even been picking up extra apples. So I need, um, I need static cling. And for that, I, I can uninstall the target lock on. Static Cling actually costs 8 fruit, so I need to at least play one more level. Oh, and here's a typing level, so excuse all the typing. You just type the words that are that present themselves. Um, it's a bit low level for somebody who has as much experience on the internet as me. Again, I want to warn you, do not watch this video unless you do not plan on playing this game. Because, seriously, you have to play this game. You might want to know the spoiler on what to do after this main segment, though. So you might want to stick around. Nope. Toe. So very educational game. As you can tell, the fractions and the typing are quite advanced, um, especially for kids. So let's get the static tongue. And I've unlocked there the next upgrade, which is a dragon. So as you can see, now I can just pull tons of them out of the air because they static together. So now it's really an AoE attack. And I want to be gathering all the fruits possible, which kind of sucks because I'm not doing a very good job of it. This turtle moves pretty slowly, making it a bit difficult. Let's get all these. I was really expecting, okay, got all three of the last ones. So now I get the dragon, which is, oh, too expensive. My bad, I need um, four more fruits for that. I can probably get that in one more round. So let's go ahead and do that. Then I'll be doing a couple um, rounds with the dragon, which enables 3D movement, which is kind of really goddamn useful in this game. Oh, lots of fractions there. So as you can tell, I currently have like 4,079 out of 21 score so pretty damn good so far gonna hang out over this here fruit and make sure I get all of them don't want to be collecting indignity and got the last three fruits now I get the dragon which is very useful allows you to move in 3d but don't worry about the 3d because um now the game is a bullet hell so uh, you don't want to be wasting your time um, the game does actually progress quite well so now you have to be keeping track of the fractions while keeping track of the bullet hell game Fortunately, since it is a child's game and an educational game, the bullet hell is not all that difficult. If you get hit, it actually just freezes you for a while and you cannot use your tongue. There you go, got the last one, got three more fruit for it. Now, as you can tell, um, I'm just going to continue and keep gathering fruit here for a couple more levels. Maybe do one more typing level before making the game progress. 
This is, by the way, your last chance to get the hell out of this video and go play the game. But seriously, um, you can already tell that it's a bit silly because it has suddenly turned into a bullet hell game. Thankfully, the Jamestown experience making this fairly easy. Just no thanks here. Oh, and now I'm... Um, dunk. Okay. Ashen. Well, the words are getting a bit statue. A bit more complicated. A bit more high level, you might say. So this is a game that you really want to play in progress. You, like, you want to do it one at a time. T... And so you want to basically score attack and try to get as high as possible. And nuns. If you play long enough in this phase, you will get you will get into quite complicated words, um, meaning like 13-letter words that you've never heard of, possibly. Well, I knew most of them. So as you can see, I actually need 25,000 fruit in order to progress to the next level. Which is kind of a bit ridiculous. I don't really know how to um, get 25,000 fruit. Well, by just um, just gonna warn you one more time. Now is the time to stop watching the video and go and play this game, unless you want some oh some crazy spoilers. So oh god, the bullets, the bullets, the bullets! I don't want to get indignity. Oh, so many. So now you have to start using a bit of lateral thinking, with your fractions that you've learned, of course, already. So you always want to click above things, by the way, because I there's no way I'm getting 25,000. So I'm, I'm gonna... Can I go to the sides? No? Well, let's just head the fuck down. Oh! Fruit! Om nom 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 nom. So I have like 100, 200, 500, like a billion fruit, whatever. What's up? Now I just have to beat this level. And then I can install the next, I can buy the next upgrade, which is a hyperdrive, which cost me, oh, Jesus, I might get a game over here. I'm getting all sorts of indignity. Oh, oh, I actually just lost. Let's retry this. I still have like a billion fruit, so I just have to retry the level now. Apparently it's not that strict. Like I said, it's a bit of a child's game. Oh, don't want to be going on there. I'll rack up the indignity like nobody's business. So I'd want to capture as many as possible with your tongue. It'll also stop the bullet hell, capturing that many. So you really want to make sure you do that. I'm going to be gathering indignity pretty quick here. One last bug. Awesome. Get my three fruits. Have like a billion. I'm going to unlock the hyperdrive, which is going to make me lift off into space. Glad you could finally make it, Lieutenant Hop. We're dealing with serious, um, serious infestations here. Okay, um... So now it is a space RT or um, space shooter with asteroids. Fortunately, again, it's not that punishing. As long as you keep out of the way of the bullets, you can still gather all the apples, and you won't have too much indignity. Let's um get these. Oh, lovely. And um, now I've seen those bugs shoot at anyone but you. I think they might be racist. Um, quite possibly. I've I've never seen them shoot at anyone else either, but. You know, it's all new, very educational so far. I'll let asteroids push you around. Say not to do that. Okay, I won't let the asteroids push me around too much. I almost gathered some indignity, though. Let's try to get by here. Oh, I'm getting hit a ton. Like I said, fortunately, because it's a kid's game, it is not that punishing. I still have, like, a billion fruits, but not much indignity left. Um, I cannot keep track of the dialogue too well, or else I'd be reading more of it out to you. I gotta say, a bit of a ridiculous game so far but very very educational very educational indeed so let's grab a couple more of these flies here there we go om nom 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 gotta eat the apples and avoid the asteroids oh god this is very star trek like good flying with you lieutenant hop thank you random archway see you on the other side so apparently i'm at like the home planet now warning no refugees be help to gain a I was wondering if the big guy over there has any tips about dealing with the fractions. I don't know. To be honest, I don't know what this game has to do with fractions anymore. At least I have the auto-targeting. Very important. Oh god, hit the weak point for massive damage! Oh, it was a trap. My bad. Oh well. Mr. Hop, the charges against you are severe. You are accused of breaking and entering into our native habitat, Bug Mars, with intent on purloining our delicious space fruit. How do you plead? Um, well, guilty, not guilty, amphibious, you got the wrong dude, my name's Mr. Leap. Has anyone ever told you you look delicious? Oh god, I'm surrounded by bugs. I'm gonna plead amphibious. 
Huh, are you sure you don't want a lawyer? These charges are carry a minimum 20 year sentence of hard labor, but there's a special offer this week. How about becoming a citizen of Bugmars? Yeah, fuck yeah, that sounds great to me. Excellent, all you need to do is pass a test on history and culture of this flying planet. Shall we begin our bug flag for, uh, I don't know. Has bug stripes, what do they represent? I'm assuming bugs. A little bit on the nose, but yeah. A little bit on the nose, isn't it? You can't blame Bug Betsy Ross for that one. Next question. On a series of Bug Jersey Shore, what's Bug Snooky's favorite flavor of ice cream? Um, bug? Yeah? Oh, so wrong, and yet so right. Four score and 20 bugs ago, Bug and Chief Bug Thomas Jefferson wrote the Declaration of Bugs. We are blessed with rich in... Which inalienable right? The right to bugs? The right to own to own sentient space fruit as slaves? The right to refuse to testify against your hive mind in court? The right to parade around in court room in your own in only your knickers? How the hell should I know? I'm a frog. Oh god, bugs everywhere. How about oh god's bugs everywhere? During the War of Bugs in 1812, General Stonewall Bug Jackson held off Nefer's frog armada single-handedly. How many mecha frogs did he crush under the wheels of his Mercedes Bugs? We don't know. We don't know. They hadn't invented counting back then. Sure, why not? Um, what percentage of students didn't graduate from Bug High School in those days? Neither does anyone else. Last question. Mr. Hop, how do you feel about fractions? I fucking love fractions. If this game has taught me anything, it's to love fractions. Perfect score in our naturalization program I've ever seen. We're going to fire you into the sun, but instead we've decided to just let you, to issue you a work visa. You'll just have to sign here. Yeah, fucking A. Let's fist pump the hell out of this. Uh, let's use my real signature here if I can. Ironically, my real signature looks a lot like a butterfly. If it's drawn well. So I, I can just continually play this, but now I'm wondering what happens if I go down. I'm gonna turn the volume up a bit here because I know what's going on next. So now I'm in like this underwater maze. I don't, don't even know. As conceived in 1632 by Portuguese printing press operator Andre Felipe, Boxing was a gentleman's game, in which two men would square off and regale each other with stories monotonous for days on end, huh. until one of them fell to the ground from boredom or exhaustion. Over the next few years, the new sport developed a respectable following of a few hundred local socialites. Okay, well, I think this is where I'm actually going to cut it off. Um, I'd love to have, go through the entire history of boxing, but there is a lot to this game, and I don't want to spoil any more than I have. This is why I warned you not to watch the video, but to go play the game. Again, I'm going to put a link in the description below. This was Frog Fractions, probably one of my favorite free games I've played in a long time. And I highly recommend you go give it a look. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Indie Crunch, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.